this is a message of eternal importance. If you can hear my voice, then this signal is appearing in both universes. That is, both universes that you know of. I am breaking a sacred oath and a sacred trust by revealing myself to you. I am a member of a race of beings known as the Conclave. We exist outside of your time and space. There are many multiverses. You have only become aware of your neighboring one, the closest one, the one you refer to as the parallel universe. But besides your own universe and the parallel universe, there are many, many more. Your recent tampering with time travel and with traveling into this other universe is having, shall we say, interesting consequences. This parallel universe that you have traveled into and it has traveled back and forth toward you, different beings crossing over, it bears a quantum signature very, very similar to yours. That is why the two are so close together and why the crossover has been occurring. Many have been warning you, some of your own televangelists, of a coming merge. Some of your own religions have talked about a rapture, an awakening, a transcendence. Well, I am going to warn you, there is indeed a coming merge. One of the definitions of hell, which some of your religions believe in, one definition of hell is the act of being held back. And I am being held back from the conclave in aiding or helping you in any way against this merge. Inevitably the merge will take place. But stop and think about all the wars and atrocities that have happened in your own universe in the past thousands of years. Stop and think about all the recent events just in Murgatroyd the Murgatroyd serial killer being one of the prime ones, the vampirism plague that went nationwide in one universe and has now tainted and permeated the other parallel universe. I have been barred from interfering, from intervening in human affairs, but I shall doubtless be ostracized after this message tonight. I will probably be thrown out of the conclave. I will no longer be a member of the conclave. I will be an outcast after this broadcast. But I felt it my sacred duty. As many of your own philosophers in the past have warned you and enlightened you, such as the ancient Miss Lee, there are so many who have warned you and told you of the coming and impending shift the shift is about to occur. Brace yourself and be ready. This has been the man in the hat. Goodbye. What was that? What was that? Where did that come from, Ranson? Who was that? Where did that signal come from, Ranson? It interrupted my broadcast. How did that happen? How did that happen? Look, Imogene, I have no idea how it happened. I was talking to the guys in control just a minute ago. It took over every single bandwidth. It took over satellite radio. It took over terrestrial radio. It, it took over all of AM and FM. We tried to cut the signal off. We couldn't. The only way to have done it would have been to power down the entire station. It's one of those things, Imogene. I don't know what it was or where it came from. It's just one of those things, Imogene.
Chandra, I don't have to tell you. You know how the rest of the conclave is. There's a lot more to my banishment than just my helping Lieutenant Skitters repeatedly. You know, they keep warning me, don't interfere in human affairs. But what they're really concerned about is this murder that's fixing to take place between the two universes. This universe and the parallel universe next to it are about to merge instantaneously. They don't like it that I'm trying to warn the humans about this. They don't like it at all. <laughs> That's part of why they've banished me. Okay, I hear you, spectator, and you know I seldom ever agree with him about anything. But to be honest, I don't quite get your concern with the coming merge either. When it happens, you and I won't be affected. Neither will the rest of the conclave. So what's the big deal? A few billion people in two different universes are suddenly combined into one universe? Big deal. They won't know what happened. They won't remember it, and life will go on as usual. I mean, really. So what? So what? Forgive me, Cassandra. It's been so long since we've seen each other. I mistook you for somebody who gives a damn. I forgot, Cassandra, you're completely, totally, only, all about yourself. Ha! How foolish of me to forget. check. This is Father Desmond Gillespie. Tonight, as all of you out there, my followers know we are going to initiate the merge. I've discussed it in past shows. You are aware that the parallel universe, the alternate universe, vibrates at a rate, at a vibratory rate, almost identical to our own. It will take very, very little to trigger the merge. And by our concentration tonight, thousands of us at the same time concentrating, we can achieve this merge. It's already occurred in isolated instances. There's rare cases not being covered by the news where the two realities have merged. Well, We've got to push this forward, speed this up, and accelerate it. You're only half of yourself. Your other half is over there on the other side in the ultimate universe. Pa Ken and Yang, this universe will not be complete until it merges with the parallel universe. This is imperative. I've had callers and people emailing saying, but I won't be myself anymore. But you won't know that you're not yourself. Your memories will change. Everything will change. You'll be enhanced. You'll be empowered. You'll have more energy. I'm casting a dark ritual spell that's thousands of years old tonight to achieve this merger of the two universes. I need all of you to light a candle. Right now, wherever you are, light a candle. I need you to focus on the flame of that candle. Focus your thoughts on the flame of that candle. And I want you to repeat... Three times, universes merge, universes merge, universes merge. This will initiate it. It will happen. It will accelerate. Possibly when we all wake up in the morning, everything will have been transformed. The universes will have merged. That's the purpose of this. It takes a critical mass. It takes all of us concentrating and thinking on this at the same time to achieve the merger of the two universes. And this has been Father Gillespie at Reality Check. See you in the merge universe.
coming. Be ready, be prepared. This is Desmond Gillespie on Reality Check. Keep trying every night at midnight. Keep lighting the candles. Keep chanting and concentrating. We can together achieve critical mass. The merge must occur. The two universes must be combined. It was prophesied thousands of years ago by the Incas, by the Mayans. It's all over the place. Raise your hands to the sky. Think. Invoke. You can do it. All of us together can merge the two universes. You'll wake up the next morning. Everything that once was will be no more. But a new reality will be yours. A new life will be yours. You won't remember the old one. You won't want to remember the old one because you will be so fulfilled by the new life, the new you, the combined universes. A new reality. Yes, it's coming. Prepare yourselves for the new reality.